At least nine northern state governors are urging their colleagues to support the All Progressive Congress APC to pick its presidential candidate for the 2023 election from the southern part of Nigeria. The party will nominate its presidential candidate at its national convention in Abuja next week. 23 aspirants have been screened to participate in the primary, 19 of whom are from across all three geopolitical zones. But a push has intensified for the party to look north in its choice since the main opposition People's Democratic Party on Saturday picked former Vice President Atiko Abubakar as its own candidate for the pool. On Tuesday, President Mohamed Buhari met with the 22 APC state governors and urged them to support him in picking his preferred successor. Following the president's statement, the state governors met twice on Tuesday but could not agree on who to recommend to the president for consideration and whether the party should consider nominating a candidate from the north. The APC has 14 governors in the north and 8 in the south. Why there is a consensus among the southern state governors that their region should produce President Buhari's successor, five of their colleagues in the north think only a northern candidate can defeat the PDP candidate, Mr. Atiku Abubakar. However, in previous discussions among the governors and in other fora, nine northern governors had argued that it is not in the interest of national cohesion and social justice for the presidency to remain in the North in 2023, after eight years of the Buhari presidency. These governors also dismissed the view held by some of their Northern colleagues that only a Northern candidate can win the presidential pool for the APC. The nine governors rooting for a power shift to the South, Ababa Gana Zulom of Bornu, Simon Lanlong of Plato, Nasi Erufai of Kajuna, and Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano. Others are Aminu Masari of Kastina, Abu Bakr Belo of Niger, Abdurrahman Abdurrazak of Kwara, Abdullahi Suli of Nasarawa, and Belo Matawale of Zamfara. Kwara, Kano, and Kastina are less vocal, but they all support the view that as Northerners, we should honor the unwritten agreement power rotation between North and South. Governors Erufai, Zulom, and Lalong are more vocal, a governor said. However, the nine governors do not agree on who the choice from the South should be because there are many contending aspirations. What unites us is that they all believe in the Southern Presidency at this time, the source said. We have our various preferences we are keeping to ourselves, the source said. But Ganduji clearly prefers Tinubu, while Lanlong prefers Amechi. The Niger governor, too, is following Tinubu, but the natural governor prefers VP Emu Sibanjo or Tinubu. On Wednesday, Mr. Ganduje was in the entourage of Mr. Tinubu as the former Lagos state governor continued his campaign tour of the country. A former governor of Nasara state, Tanko Al-Makura, was also in the delegation. Mr. Al-Makura was the choice of the APC leaders in Nasara for the position of national chairman of the party until another former governor of the state, Abdullahi Adamu, made a late entrance into the race and was named as the consensus candidate with the approval of Mr. Buhari. On their part, the eight southern governors are united in their demand for a southern candidate. However, the governors could not agree on an aspirant for recommendation to the president for consideration as his preferred candidate. Three of the governors are among the 19 presidential aspirants of the party. These are Kayode Fayemi of Ekiti, Ben Ayade of Cross River, and Dave Omai of Eboin State. Nine northern governors pushing for southern APC presidential candidates. Interesting. What we know right now is that uh, President Mohamed Buhari have told the governors, the APC governors, that... Um, they should allow him pick his successor. Buhari is out of the country and we know he's back in today. And everyone is waiting eagerly. But uh, before his return, we know the governors have met about two times after their initial meeting with President Mohamed Buhari, where he gave that speech and uh, made his intentions known regarding the 2023 presidency. Although we know that um, um, that is not sitting well with the governors because even after he left and they met, uh, they've not been able to come to an agreement 
who should be that person or who the recommendation should be that they should present to President Muhammad Buhari while all of those are going on. Um, some northern governors are stating that let's honor power rotation, let's honor the shift. We don't know if that is just uh, uh, they're just making it up or if they truly mean it because it was from the north as well that um, Atiku Abubakar emerged as the PDP's um, presidential candidate. These nine other governors, they are seriously pushing for Southern APC presidential candidate. They are divided. Some are standing with Bola Tinubu, the national leader of the party. Some are with Rotimi Amechi, former governor of um, River State. And some are uh, queuing behind Vice President Yemiu Sibanjo. Who President Muhammad Buhari will pick is not known yet, but um, um, all fingers are crossed. Everyone is watching keenly to see who uh, becomes the presidential candidate of the party. But you know right now why this is like uh, uh, really, really intense is that uh, uh, it's been revealed that APC, what they are doing right now, why they wait, they are also strategizing again since PDP's candidate is already known, Atiku Abubakar. And what they keep saying is that for them to retain power come 2023, they need to put someone that will be able to defeat Atiku Abubakar. They already know the opposition's um, um, candidate. So it is not left for them to do their calculations and their permutations right. In the meantime, Nigerians are reacting and um, watching all of these politicians. Politics in Nigeria is a game of interest. And um, it will interest you to know what uh, some are saying. Someone said, very thoughtful of them. So let them mobilize for Sibanjo. He's the right man for the job. Another one says, Nasara State Governor, God bless you for supporting Sibanjo, our incoming president. So um, the response coming, some are happy that in even these northern governors, they could see clearly that um, power rotation should be honored that power shift agreement it should be honored nasara state is uh, state governor is in support for uh usibanjo but someone's uh, made a really really uh interesting comment here can usibanjo fund presidential campaign and match atiku dollar for dollar and naira for naira don't deceive yourself the last pdp primary is a test run Election in Nigeria needs 10 bullion vans. <laughs> Interesting. You know, this bullion van is uh, associated uh, with uh, Bola Tinubu. Uh, that is one case, EFCC case, that have been swept under the corner that he should give explanation about those bullion vans that were seen going into his residence on the eve of um, the last uh, um, general election. But anyway, uh, what this person is saying that Osibanjo is not a politician. We know Osibanjo is not a politician. Is different from all of these guys. That's why you see that uh, you hardly hear him being criticized. Apart from the fact that um, he's not really speaking for the people. He's just there. But people just feel that um, it's not really his fault, that his hands are tied. He cannot do much. Sibanja is one person that we've never had any uh, fraud allegation against or anything hanging on his neck. That is why this person is saying that. Are you sure you can match Atiku dollar for dollar? Well, Nigerians already know... Um, what these politicians can do, what they are capable of. Well, leave us your take, guys. Um, thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.